a good morning and welcome back to day two of the Ohio Extravaganza. We are setting up for our meet and greet and I'm just gonna do a quick little spin of all these crazies. Hi! 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 <laughs> There's Michael Todd back. Wait, he's over there by the trash can. And then we got Misty over there filming. <laughs> So it's going to be so fun. I'm excited. And I'm going to hand you over to Sarah at the Traveling Button because um, I'm wearing a corn dress and you just need to see it, okay? So I'm going to show you my corn dress before we get started. A big lump of knobs. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. Can't think of a more beautiful thing. This is my corn dress. Um, Louder. We love to hate it, but it's here, it's having its moment, and it's ready for the meet and greet. You look so cute. Thank you. It's corn. It's corn. Oh, look at the video. Oh, okay. okay, so here's the thing. I got to interview a shopper for the scavenger hunt. So you're my shopper. Okay. Okay, so what what was your favorite thing you found yesterday? Uh, a brass flamingo statue. Oh, and it's, it's statuesque. It is. It's very hard and that, well, it's a... It's metal. Hey! What was your favorite thing you found yesterday? Um, I guess I'll say my Viking owl base that I got from George. Is it really an owl? Like an owl shape? Yeah. Oh, I need to see this face. Oh, I'm pretty cool. Oh, I just love her so much. And Cindy's here too. And oh my gosh, look how fun! wanted to go to this antique mall we are at the heart of Ohio and I can't wait to go in it is huge I you know I spent a lot uh, a good amount of money at the flea market so I'm gonna have to budget but you know you if you find it when you find it you know you gotta get it when you see it so we're, we're just gonna live it up and have a great time spend time with our friends and shop so come along Let's go see what we can find. We made it into the heart of Ohio and the music was just blaring. So the entire shopping part of this video is going to be a voiceover. I am sorry. Voiceovers are always so interesting to me because I'm watching it as you guys are watching it. I don't even remember really this day. I was just having the best time ever and it was all quite a blur. But look at all this really amazing vintage Christmas stuff. 35 on that, some Harold Gale Santas, and you guys hear Tiny Human? She made me something. Thank you, Tiny Human. I love it. This is real life, guys. This is mom life. But look at this Victorian uh, manicure set. So cute. Look at this. I love this Jadeite Bottoms Up Shot Glass. We're going to go back and look at it in a little bit more detail. I love that little weirdo. 60, I wouldn't know. That's the tag for the bird. I don't remember how much he was, but I know he was a little high for me. I love those vintage Santas. We see some Fenton back there, Fenton in the Rose Bowl. Those weren't actually too terribly high, but I don't know. I'm just looking for, I don't know what I'm looking for, but something special. Something that I just cannot will not live without oh my goodness look at the little babies ten dollars i think i looked at her and she was broken so i didn't get her some stife down there even though that halloween bucket was pretty beat up i loved it i think it was like five hundred dollars so couldn't get that i love these victorian souvenir pieces uh what else do we see that i like that little trophy a lot and more little trophies. I love little trophies. The vintage ones. And I really liked this vintage pumpkin. He was $49.95. A little high for resale. And they had a 
great collection of mercury beads in this booth. I was tempted by a few of them. I think Miss Pam actually picked up a little, um, well, a couple of bags, I think, of these. But for me, they were just a little bit too high for resale. But I love this blue color. I just think that's such a pretty color. Um, I was really tempted, but I'm, you know, I just walked in the door, so I'm trying to be a little bit picky. And yeah, twelve ninety five. Those were bad, but they had a lot of broken pieces in them, so I had to pass. I didn't get this Victorian jewelry casket, but I just had to show it to you guys. Look at that owl on it. I loved it. Why, yes, please. I'll take one of everything. Just, just you know, wrap it up. That'd be great. No, I couldn't buy any of this for resale, but they had such amazing things. I wish I could have gotten every single thing that was in this case. I'll take every one of these as well. Please just, you know, wrap them up with all my other stuff. Look at this collection of vintage Halloween postcards. I have been looking for Halloween postcards for a hot minute. And every time I find them in the wild, they are, of course, retail. But they were so nice to see in a collection format, to see them all bundled up. I had so much fun looking at these and admiring them. They they were beautiful. Ohio. Look at it. It's amazing. And I actually ran into I'm a, a subscriber, subscriber friend. I love her. Say hi. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy, happy to meet a you. Friend and and friend. That's my sister. She's hiding from the camera. Oh, hi. Don't hi, be no. shy. <laughs> but it's so You're the first one. I thought I I thought I would run into like other people you know we had I a meet and greet this morning i know but oh. i was there yesterday and i got so hot oh i, know. I couldn't take it anymore so i said we're coming to the mall today but, but it was nice it was so fun. nice it was to fun. meet it you it was very nice to meet you all right well we'll talk to you soon bye i was so so happy when i found this vintage whitman coloring book the graphics in this are absolutely amazing and it was only five dollars it does have some like oil or something kind of damage on the back but i was so excited to grab this and I love this vintage noisemaker. It was the tallest one I've ever come across. And these are so good for displaying your ephemera on. So yay. I wanted everything in here too. They have the best stuff. Unfortunately, most of it is just a little too high for resale. But once again, I'll take one of everything, please. Yes, and thank you. That Halloween quiz, that owl graphic, get out of town. Look at these Napco mermaids. Oh, I wanted them. I also really wanted these orange candlesticks, the Lucite ones. They are still too expensive. Now this was epic. It took everything in my power not to put this in my little wagon. I had to show some serious restraint. And then look at this anthropomorphic sunflower. Did somebody say Holt Howard? Oh, you did? Well, uh, well, here it is. I was drooling. Look at all of this amazing kitsch. Speaking of anthropomorphic, get out of here. Finish up at that antique mall. We did okay. I think I found about six things, so that was pretty good. And now we are at our second antique mall. Um, it's Antique Center, is our, I'm pretty sure, in Springfield, Ohio. So now we're gonna go treasure hunting in this building. So let's go see if there's any treasures to find. Let's go see what we can find.
I actually ended up getting a few things out of this case right here. Really fun things. Y'all know I'm a sucker for little babies and small dolls and things like that. So there, I see that little sleeping doll right there for 10. I picked her up and I love her. She is adorable. Mm, I looked at her or him, I guess, and I was very tempted, but I think the neck was repaired and look at that little cutie over there. Just Super like that, cute. we're done with one mall and now we're on to our second mall, antiques and collectibles. And I actually was told that this store is going out of business, so we should be able to find some more deals. We didn't do too, too good at the last place, but hopefully we'll do better at this one. I did pick up this beautiful black hand-painted amethyst vase. It was only $5. This mall was very dark, so when I started filming, my flash turned on. I liked this candle holder, but it was a single, and I really would have liked to have a pair. There was a lot of Christmas in this booth, so I was seeing if this was modern or vintage. I ended up deciding it was modern. There was a lot of modern stuff in this mall, and like I said, it was going out of business, so it was pretty picked over. But I'm just scoping out the situation, seeing if I can find anything. Kind of liked this blanket for my daughter, but I didn't get it. You know I love me some babies, and I see this vintage carnival prize right here. How much was she again? 20 Little steep for me because I have so many. 20 I don't think there was a discount on this booth, or I probably... Oh, there. well, I stand corrected. 20%, but still just a little high for me for me <laughs> now this booth right here was actually pretty good i think i'm sure we'll see it here in a moment i think the booth was 50 percent off which would have made this little guy a dollar i probably should have picked him up but i didn't and these little tin types they would have been half off i was tempted wait i don't remember did i get those i'm not sure that whole weekend was kind of a blur uh, I can't remember if I got those or not. If I didn't, I should have, so there's that. But 
there was a good assortment of things in this booth. Some more modern, but a good bit of vintage. Look at this glass bunny. I think I liked this. It would have been $10, but I wasn't really sure of the of the resale of it. It was Viking. I probably should have picked that up too if I didn't. I think by this time I was just tired and <laughs> wasn't making very good decisions, unfortunately. That happens after 14 straight hours of shopping. I liked these knotters, but the tail had been broken off and repaired. Now, I did pick up some of these. Not this one because it was a single. But I did pick up... Um, I wonder if it's coming up. I know I picked up two pair. So, here's one pair I picked up. They ended up being $5.00. And they were in really good condition, extremely well made. So I did grab those. This is the other side of that same booth. This was a art glass bird. I didn't really like the base. I think the base kind of cheapened it. These were fun. All these little farm animals. 12 fit. See, I should have got those too. What was I thinking? I was I was I wasn't thinking clearly. I missed out on some really good stuff. Looking back now me now is mad at past me because I should have picked up that Viking bunny and I definitely should have picked up those little animals. I don't know what I was thinking, Lincoln. And these are beautiful. I've actually sold these before and 40, what would it have been? 42 50 would have been a really good price for those. Probably should have picked up that deer planter too. I have lots of regrets. Now that I'm watching this, I, I, I actually feel terrible about my decision making. These were really cute too. Man, I'm going to go kick past me's butt because she she didn't do a very good job. So she, she's fired because I, I should have got those. Those were really cool. Hmm. And like a dingus, I did not film an outro to this shop along. So here is me dancing in my corn dress once again to say thank you guys for joining me at the Withering Cottage. And you guys have a fantastic corn-tastic day. <laughs> Bye.